Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started tutorial. Now let's talk about how to customize your UI. This video we're gonna look specifically at trays and how to customize your brushes. So over here we can go over to our brush palette. We can access a ton of brushes as we've mentioned before. But in order for me to quickly access some of the brushes that I use the most, I can easily do that by just going over a brush like this chisel brush, for example, and tap that little icon over there that's a little heart icon. If I click that, now we have a favorites folder. And I can add multiple brushes. So let's say I'm going down to the clay brushes and I'm going to add the clay buildup. Maybe I want to go to sculptural and I want to add the pinch brush. And then maybe I want to go hard surface and add the trim adaptive. So now if I go over to my favorites tab, all of those brushes are there. You can also access a lot of these mostly used brushes down here on the custom toolbar. We're going to talk about that more in depth in the next video. So if you're using the full version of ZBrush for iPad, you can import any brush that you have either on your iPad or that you bring in from another device. By going over here on the top left corner and clicking this import button, if you go down to brush and click select file, you can just select your brush file and it will automatically load on your brush palette. So now if I go to my brush palette, you can see there was a user folder over here and there's my custom brush. Now let's take a look at the trays. So in our UI, as we've mentioned before, we have our left bar, our right bar, and then our bottom custom toolbar. But what if I want to add a specific tray with some palettes that I want to access quickly? So if I go over to my palettes, and then let's say I want to have the alpha palette constantly open, I can click these dots on the top and drag that tray. And now I have a secondary bar, a very tiny bar that has that palette specifically. And this tray, I can position it whatever I want. I usually position it on the left, but you're free to put it whatever you want on your screen. And to add to that tray, I can click this little three dots and click Add Palette. And I can add multiple palettes. So let's say I want my Brush Palette, and I also want my Stroke Palette. So if I go over here to Stroke, and now I have a mini tray that I can float around on my screen anywhere I want, then I can quickly access these three settings. So that was it for brushes and customizing your trays. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at the custom toolbar on the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.